In this video, we're going to look at what life was like on board slave ships for slaves as they travelled across the Middle Passage from Africa to the Americas. Once slaves were purchased, they were loaded onto slave ships quickly and efficiently. And in order to stop any slaves trying to escape or commit suicide, captains would place nets all around their ship in case slaves tried to jump off. To stop them from restraining their treatment further, they would be shackled at their wrists and have manacles at their ankles tying slaves together. Conditions on slave ships were horrible for slaves. There was a lack of water and proper sanitation, which meant that slaves would go to the toilet in buckets. These would often be knocked over due to the slaves being joined together. Overcrowding was also very common, as ship owners would try to cram as many slaves on board in order to make a greater profit and this was known as slaves being tightly packed together. Combined with high temperatures meant that there was a constant smell on board of vomit, human waste and sweat. Altogether, this meant that the disease was very common due to it being easily spread amongst the slaves. Six slaves would be thrown overboard in an attempt to stop the disease spreading throughout the ship. It was made worse by slaves actually becoming on board the ship already having some form of the disease. The most common were smallpox and dysentery. Whilst on board, slaves were given one or two meals a day and this usually consisted of corn and rice. As the slaves massively outnumbered sailors and crew, the crew had to come up with ways and punishments to stop the slaves from bolting. Whips would often be used and they would create small scars in the slaves' back, whereas this one, a cat of nine tails, had nine separate strands and would be much more painful on the slaves. Thumb screws would also be used. Slaves' thumbs would be put in just above the metal line in the middle and would be twisted upwards to dislocate the thumbs. However, thumbs were never fully dislocated as they didn't want to reduce the price of the slaves. This last one kept slave mouths open wide enough and ordered them to be forced fed as many slaves would try to resist in a way to commit suicide. Slaves were given one piece of exercise every day and they were often forced to dance on top of ship in order to keep them fit and healthy. However, they were only allowed on top deck if there was no land in sight, as this would maybe tempt the slaves to escape and jump overboard. Due to these horrible conditions, it is believed that overall 2 million slaves died on the journey of the Middle Passage. This may seem like a large number, however, historians think that between 9 million and 12 million slaves actually made the Americas to be sold in auction.